Hey folks, Microsoft recently launched the Surface Pro 11, the most recent model in its popular 2-in-1 lineup, with a renewed emphasis on artificial intelligence. The starting price of the 13-inch Surface Pro 11 is £1049, but the 13-inch or 15-inch MacBook Air M3 from Apple starts at £1099. This implies that the MacBook would only cost £50 more, which could make you decide between the two gadgets. To assist you in selecting the best option for you, we've put the MacBook Air M3 and Surface Pro 11 up against one another. The Apple M3, which debuted with the MacBook Pro and iMac in late 2023, powers the MacBook Air M3. The M3 is equipped with a 16-core neural engine, an 8-core CPU, a 10-core GPU, and support for up to 24 gigs of unified memory. Apple claims that the MacBook Air M3 is up to 13 times faster than the quickest MacBook Air, with an Intel processor, and up to 60% faster than the MacBook Air M1. Both more informal daily use and labor-intensive jobs like software development and film editing should benefit from these advancements. For more realistic lighting and shadows in games, the GPU now supports hardware-accelerated mesh shading and ray tracking. Strong performance is another goal in the appearance of the Microsoft Surface Pro 11. This time around, Microsoft has given artificial intelligence a lot more attention. Compared to the Surface 9 Pro, the Snapdragon X Elite and Plus CPUs operate up to 90% quicker, and the NPU allows for up to 45 trillion operations per second. Copilot, Microsoft's AI assistant, is powered by the chipset and helps you with daily tasks. Microsoft promotes several helpful Copilot Plus capabilities, such as better looking and sounding video calls, live captioning and translations for videos, recall to assist in locating certain documents and websites, and Cockreader to create digital art based on text and visual suggestions. Since the MacBook Air M3 is a laptop, its appearance includes a connected keyboard. Conversely, the Surface Pro 11 is a 2-in-1. This basically means that the gadget can be used as a tablet or, when combined with a keyboard case, as a laptop. Although this appearance is more portable and offers more versatility, you will need to purchase a keyboard separately, as opposed to the MacBook Air M3, which is ready to type right out of the box. The Microsoft Surface Pro 11 is a 2-in-1 device that has a touchscreen as well. You may use the device to take notes, sketch ideas, and make digital art with a stylus in an intuitive way when coupled with a slim pen. There is no touch support available for the MacBook Air M3. It is best to choose an iPad if you wish to sketch on an Apple device. Additionally, you can customize your setup just like you would with the Surface Pro 11 by pairing Apple's tablet lineup with accessories like keyboards and the Apple Pencil. Both gadgets provide significantly longer battery lives than their respective counterparts. When it comes to video playback, however, the MacBook Air M3 wins out because it can stream movies for up to 18 hours using the Apple TV app. On the other hand, the Surface Pro 11 offers up to 14 hours of movie playback. Compared to the MacBook Air M3, that is a 4-hour reduction. I'm so glad you look at my comparisons, it's very valuable to me, have a nice day and God bless you.